sophomore and my major's in RES, Natural Resources and Environmental Science. I'm a junior. I'm a double major in Equine Science and Management and Natural Resources and Environmental Science. I'm a junior and I'm a Natural Resources and Environmental Science major. I'm the Academic Coordinator for Natural Resources and Environmental Science and this is my class, which is NRE 201. I'm using my fingers to shift through and when you feel a muscle, um, they're really dug in. It feels like it's really stuck in there. It kind of just floats in surface as you rake through the, the rock. We found two so far. We're on the Green River surveying for mussels. This experiential learning, it's something that we do a whole lot in natural resources and environmental science. We try to get the students actively participating and engaging. Do they filter feed? Yes. So we could talk for hours in the classroom about mussels and the importance of mussels to the environment and how you actually sample mussels. But at the same time, we could come out here in an hour and teach them just as much. Here we go, we're rolling. Even more than in the classroom, and then they'll actually remember the experience. I am an aquatic scientist with the Kentucky Department of Fish and Wildlife Center for Mollusk Conservation. I've been, I've been talking to um, the, the natural resource class for several years, exposing them to this kind of a way of looking at animal populations. I'd always had the thought in the back of my mind that this is the kind of thing I wanted to do. A lot of students finally figure out exactly what they want to do. I've had students who they come in, they say, I'm going to do wildlife, I'm going to do wildlife. And then we'll take them out in the woods and they'll be measuring trees and then they, there was one girl she came up and ran up to me one day and she was like, Jerry, I love measuring trees. And she just never realized it until she actually got out. And in the classroom you learn a lot about different species, you learn a lot about um, conservation models, but you don't get the hands-on experience, you don't get um, what it's really like to do the work. So you can think, maybe, maybe you want to do that job, maybe not, but you don't know until you actually get out in the field, I think. My emphasis area within the major is water, so I really do enjoy this kind of stuff. You know, it's really interesting the different students that we have that come into natural resources and environmental science. The ones who want to be in the field and work in the field all the time and do some things like we just did with the muscle sampling. And there's other students who want to work in policy and they go to environmental law school. Uh, there's other students who want to do GIS work which is computer mapping to help the environment to figure out what's going on. It's really the gamut of students. Just love the outdoors, love nature as a kid, and when I went to college, it was like find a job you love, not one you have to have. I wanted a job where I would not be in an office all day. The total length of the cave is about 7,000 feet, so roughly a mile and a half. We're going actually into the cave system. A cave called Crump's Cave, and that is owned by Western Kentucky University and we work with some great folks there. Dr. Chris Groves, and he shows us in his cave. So one of the things that we're really focused on is looking at the water quality here. And so this is one of the waterfalls that I'm talking about. And it was permeable, and there was karst water dripping down from, from the ceiling all the way down to the floor, and it was still being carved out. And so there was a big pulse of that during the period of open air nuclear testing. We went to Mammoth Cave National Park, and we were actually in the caves with some of their ecologists. We kind of looked around, explored the cave ecosystem, and how we have to measure the effects of the uh, airflow and stuff on the cave environment. Uh, we saw like little huntsman spiders, or like cave daddy long legs, they're a little bit smaller, a couple cave crickets. One of the great parts about the Natural Resources and Environmental Science major is that we actually require an internship. While some students might be scared of that at first, it actually gets you out and has you working in the environment where you hopefully will have your career. And if you have a great experience, you'll know that's the, you're on the right path and that's the right direction. If you have not a great experience, which does happen to some people, then you know, okay, I need to refocus and figure out where I'm going and change my studies to reflect the reality of what I want to do for my career. Many, many of our students get jobs offered right out of our internships. This class, uh, Natural Resources and Environmental Science, NRE 201, it's actually, we created it to get the students involved in interacting with each other. We're all together doing something uh, that you're all interested in. is really, I mean, it's nice you can talk to people and get to know them better than you can necessarily in a classroom where uh, you can't really have the personal conversations. So not only do they have great experiences like doing the muscle sampling and going to Mammoth Cave, 
but they have these interactions with each other because it's because they're going to be attending classes with the other their fellow students for most of their time at NRES and it also allows them to figure out what their uh, concentration area is going to be. I felt like I needed to do something that was a little more conservation based. Probably about half come into us and they say hey I just want to do something with the environment I don't know what it is and then the way our classes are set up is so that a student can come in saying I love the environment what can I do and then they learn all the different areas all the different career possibilities and where they can go with the degree and so we've really set it up so if you know what you're doing you can focus on it and do it if you don't know what you're doing you can figure it out as you go.